All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be trying out the new Bowden's product called Happy Ending. We're gonna be trying this out on my R36 Passat in today's video. As you can see, this is a black car. It's been neglected for a few weeks here in the Australian sort of autumn now. We're coming into winter and the car has been rained on. It's been on gravel roads, picking people up, you name it. This car has seen it in the last few weeks and it is as dirty as I would ever let it get. So perfect day for the video. We're going to be trying happy ending and as you can see, I'm applying it in a completely separate bottle to my snow job, which you can see in the background and I'll explain more on that later. But before we do it, we're going to wash down the car with the normal items that we would use. We've got wheelie clean, orange age and bugger off, naked glass. These are all products that I would use on a regular wash, of course. So let's do that. We apply the wheelie clean. We apply our orange agent to the tires and guards. We now apply snow foam to break down any of the contaminants that are on the paint surface. You know the whole process. We're all about Bowden's own fanatics and we all follow them on their Instagram. So we see this stuff on a daily basis. But as you can see here, we're gonna be washing the car down again, yet to touch the paint surface. We're gonna reduce any scratches, any swirl marks from happening because we're going to remove as much contaminants and dirt before we even get started with our touch wash. Now, one step I like to take as well is I actually apply a second coat of snow foam. This way we have maximum amount of suds on the paint surface. The paint is so lubricant that is the likelihood of scratches being introduced is so low. And then we use, of course, our Bowden's own wash pad to wipe it down. So this is our touch wash. Now let's quickly go back to what I was saying before about not cross-contaminating the bottles. Bowden's own recommends you use two separate bottles uh, for Snow Job and the uh, Happy Ending product purely because Happy Ending is something that will streak very heavily in daylight. And I'll explain more on that in a second. Uh, and it's just not something you want to mix together with the snow job because snow job has a very long dwelling time on the paint surface before it's likely to streak. Whereas happy ending, you almost apply and remove almost instantaneously. So as well as that, yes, happy ending, you want to be making sure you're using it on a cool day. All the panels need to be cool. Sun is a very bad thing for happy ending. You want to make sure you're using it in shady conditions. Today, when I'm washing the car, it was overcast, it was cold and it was just the absolute perfect conditions for using happy ending. Don't risk it, trust me. It will streak and it will streak bad. It's definitely not something to be scared of at all, but just make sure you're using it within the precautions that they give and you will have perfect results. Now, as I'm washing down the car right now, the one thing I want you to take notice of is that front wheel guard just there. You can see that there is water on it, but it is not rub uh, running off really instantaneously. It's just sort of sitting there dwelling and then just running off like every other car you see around. So we apply our happy ending. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. That way we get the maximum dwelling time at the bottom of the car, which is often where road grime and that is thickest. That way we can get a thicker coating about as thick as we possibly can. And then almost instantaneously, as I said, we're going to take the uh, happy ending back off the car. And as you can see, look at how hydrophobic the paint surface is. All of that water is just absolutely running off and you will see it in a second when I sheet this water off. The hydrophobic properties of the paint are now incredible. Just look at this. And then of course, the last uh, step and precaution that Bowden's own suggests is once you've done this, the front windscreen needs to be wiped down with some sort of glass cleaner, preferably their naked glass. This way, it reduces the likelihood of any smearing happening from the windscreen wipers if there's any of the product's residue left behind. This is just a safety step that they introduced to reduce the likelihood of any sort of vision problems happening out the front windshield with smearing. And then as I finish off drying the car here, We've now seen how hydrophobic the car is. Look how incredibly shiny it is. This is an absolutely awesome product. I'd highly recommend it to anyone. If you're in the market for something like this, go check out Bowden's own Happy Ending because it is absolutely incredible.